Very good morning, dear friends. How are you? This is once again your <clears throat> Prabhu Swaminathan, the founder and chief mentor of Academy for Market Orientation India. Today we will be discussing on something which is more exciting, you know, that, that, that's, that's the talk of the hour whenever we are on campus, that whenever we are in corporate, whenever we are traveling and, you know, you know it's something which excites us every day and night, which is, which is nothing but the word called success and being successful in life. Friends, just wanted to, you know, go back to the, uh, you know, the conventional way of how we most of the times uh, look at success and what, what predominantly you know, uh, makes us look at success in a, in, a, in a particular way. For most of us, for most of us, you know, if you just see success will be uh, attaining a desired particular, uh, you know, a thing in life or a position in life or a particular uh, uh, status in life. The, the position can be a financial status, the position can be uh, a social status, a position can be a relationship acquisition uh, status. In, in, in all these ways of defining success, you know, it's, it's all about acquiring something. It's all about, uh, you know, getting something. It's all about uh, owning something, you know, for a period of time. Of course, there is a timeline attached to it. You know, for the moment, I'm not getting into the, uh, you know, the corporate way of attaining goals and, you know, and measuring goals. You know, let's keep that aside because uh, uh, if you look at it from a, a management perspective of defining success, you know, people will look at it in that way, you know. Uh, reaching the desired numbers and things. And I'm talking about uh, more of a success from, uh, you know, the life perspective, more of a success from an individual perspective. Uh, so if, if, if we look at that uh, success, you know, it is all about owning and, you know, reaching or acquiring a particular thing, whatever we wanted in life. What happens in this process of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, reaching or owning a particular uh, thing in our life? We choose, we choose a particular vehicle, we choose a particular vehicle to reach a particular place, whatever it is, even if it is a life journey, we always choose a vehicle. And most of the times, most of the times the vehicle is always, most of the times the vehicle is always our strength. This is the danger, dear friends, is something that I have been, uh, you know, uh, working on for the last few months, uh, the last few weeks. I, I really feel... Is, is, is something that what we feel as strength, is something that what we feel or what we project ourselves as strength, is something that what is much spoken about ourselves as strength, is that our real vehicle that we have to choose to reach the desired goal, is the biggest question that, you know, which came to my mind. Can I be more precise? Yeah. Uh, what I mean is, is there a difference between, you know, the current strength of ours and the actual passion of ours. That's the, that's the biggest debate which was running in my mind for the last, um, you know, uh, few weeks or few months. I was thinking more, reading more, uh, you know, on the subject and, uh, you know, then finally I was able to realize that most of the times in our life, um, whatever we believe as strength, okay, is not our own strength, which is, which is something which, the universe has made us believe that it is our strength because the universe wanted to gain maximum out of us because of the strength of ours. Let me put it this way. When we are a kid, you know, we could have been excelled in a particular subject because our teachers would have wanted us to study that particular subject more and more and the more and more that we got rewarded in that particular subject, you know, the more and more the specific teacher uh, you know, would have would have been attained uh, their desired benefit because he or she would say, this is the best science student that I have ever seen. This is the best math students I would have ever seen. So we tend to, we tend to believe that in a particular age that maths or a science is our key strength. So let's keep that at some, 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 somewhere. Let's move on to the corporate life. Assume that you are a salesperson and you have to achieve a desired, uh, say, a 25 lakh, uh, you know, target in a particular year. And uh, you are an excellent salesperson that you have achieved 25 lakhs, 30 lakhs year on year consecutively. That doesn't mean sales your strength. That doesn't mean, uh, you know, sales your passion. That doesn't mean, you know, uh, uh, it is through this sales that you have to attain your desired goal which could be anything else or the desired destination this 25 lakhs or 30 lakhs is made to believe 
attaining this 25 lakhs or 30 lakhs through as an excellent salesperson is something that the people around us has made us to believe that that is our strength because that is that, that, that is, there is a manager's KRA attached to it, there is a corporate KRA attached to it, invariably, invariably, we are, we are made to believe that certain aspects of ours are our strength because there is an universal gain out of our strength. Is this the true strength? Is, this, is, it, is it a really true strength? How can, our, how can our strength be a projected strength of ours? That's the biggest question which was running in my mind for the last few months and, and, and I really found and I really found in most of the cases, in most of the cases, our strength is not our passion. So how, how can I identify my passion is the next question. How can I identify my passion is the next question. Um, a passion is something according to me where, you know, the three components of an individual, the mind, the body and soul gets dissolved, gets dissolved so that he or she forgets the time when he gets involved in that. Forgets the people around them when he gets involved in that. Forgets the entire world when he gets involved in that. That's, that's the passion. That's the passion. And you know, you feel, you feel when we choose your passion to reach your destination, you know, there is no pain in the path. You feel when you choose your passion to reach the desired goal, you know, ups and downs becomes bed of roses. Now the question is, how to identify each and everybody's passion? Just, just, just think for a while, you know, it could be any of your hobbies, which could be any of your, uh, uh, you know, activity which you just casually do or as a time pass, you know, but during that moment, you would forget the entire world, you will forget the entire financial stress that you have, you will forget the entire emotional stress that you have, but you get involved in it, you get involved in it so much and you just forget the entire world. I would like to recollect Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam's famous you know, statement here. He talks about a dream, a dream is something, a dream is something which is not something which comes when you are asleep, a dream is something which doesn't allow you to sleep. What is he talking about when he says this? He talks about, you know, a dream, a dream which is a byproduct of your passion. If it is a byproduct of your passion, you know, I mean, a time becomes obsolete. You forget the time, you forget the pain, you forget, you, for, you forget the ups and downs, you forget the, you forget every challenges that you face in the path of, uh, you know, uh, the passion. So, dear friends, I would like to go back to the original, original uh, topic of where we started, you know, if, if, if we choose our projected strength as a vehicle to reach success, if we, if we choose our projected strength as a medium to reach the success that whatever we have defined, you know what, please understand, it is not our strength, it is a projected strength of ours for the universal benefit and once you reach success, the universal will celebrate that you are successful because it is the extract of, you know, it is going to be the extract of what they wanted to project it as our strength and they will be successful at the end of the day. But really, really, really that will not give us, you know, a real satisfaction of success. What is more important is, you know, understanding, you know, this discerning component of, uh, you know, our strength is not our passion. Identify your passion and choose our passion as vehicle to reach the desired path. That will, that will, that will, that will really, really give us uh, two benefits. One, you know. Time becomes obsolete, pain becomes obsolete, ups and downs become obsolete. You don't feel anything and you know, once you reach the desired path, you know, you, you, feel, you feel really, really self-satisfied. You feel really contented because, because this is not a projected strength of the world, but it is an innate, innate, innate passion of ours. Or at the end of the day, like a famous quote says, you climb, you climb, you climb, you climb to reach the top. And finally, we find, you know, that the ladder is leading on a wrong wall. This is what happens for most of the people, you know, at the 50s and 60s. So, dear friends, I would try, I would, I would request you, I would beg you, you know, to just take some time to ponder on this fact, is my strength, is my real passion. Thank you. Have a great day.